Hey there YouTube, uh, good morning Dr. Dual Sport. Our uh, temperature this morning is, uh, we're just right on uh, 20 degrees. Um, when I got up the, this morning, I guess it looked like these were both about the same. 20 degrees. Uh, the the digital thermometer I had forgotten left it in my pocket. It was inside, so it was wasn't uh, accurate. Uh, beginning mileage uh, two three seven five one, and I hope you can I hope you can see that as two three seven five one. The bike started this morning, it took uh, three times, and, uh, but I'm, I'm, I didn't check the voltage on the battery. Uh, yesterday it was, what, 12.8, but I'm thinking that, you know, possibly the, uh, possibly the battery's a little weak because it just, it doesn't spin. And, um, you know, if, a, if an engine can't really spin freely, a lot of times it won't, it doesn't quite have enough oomph to, to start. And then if you're uh, where it has the fuel injection, you know, you may not have a g good voltage to the uh, fuel injection pump while you're, uh, you know, lugging that starter motor down. It was so hazy this morning when I uh, first got up. It's just, uh, just lifting, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna turn and go west. We'll drive down this way into the, in, into the fog, because the, the fog's in the lower part of the valley and I'll just, so show you how darn uh, thick and soupy that stuff is. So this is the kind of stuff that they get uh, north of here in Utah County, Salt Lake County. Except uh, theirs is mixed with all the exhaust from the automobiles and stuff. And uh, it's they're they're really worried about the quality of the air. It's uh, actually toxic when it gets in this type of condition. They just passed a new resolution where the it's against the law to burn any wood or coal on those days. So anyway, right or wrong, that's the way it is. The problem with this fog is, well, a couple of problems with it. One is uh, you, you lose some visibility. Um, instead of being able to see for whatever you could, you know, a quarter mile, half mile, five miles, whatever, then you can you, you can uh, just see for a few yards or maybe a hundred yards. So it, it uh, it's dangerous. That way, not only can you not see, but people on the motorcycle, people cannot see you. So. I would not, I would never ride in any any type of traffic in fog. <laughs> that would be insane suicide. So, anyhow, I guess we're, uh, we'll kind of be fog, fog chasers here for a minute this morning. We'll go into it. It's, it's like, rolling uh, down in the valley to the lower elevations. Anyway, it's nasty, soupy stuff. You know, I, uh, I had plans this morning. I thought, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to, I'm going to jump on the freeway again and, uh, 
just go cruising on the freeway there and get some miles, you know, but but there's no no way that I would uh, attempt to ride on the freeway like this. You're always, I started this, I, I mentioned about the visibility um, from the, you know, trying to uh, look through the fog and you can only see for 100 feet or 100 yards or whatever, but then also the fog ca causes uh, ice to form on the outer layer of your lens. And when that happens, then, you, then you're in big trouble. So, we're, we're going into it now. It's, uh, boy, it's thicker than, in fact, I'm gonna lift my lead. Ah, there, I can see a little bit. And that, that fog uh, sure is cold old stuff too. It kind of wants to go right through you. But. Anyway, we're just going to slowly putt through the fog here till we uh, come out of it and then uh, maybe we'll uh, show you another peek at what it looks like. We were able to uh, get on the freeway and uh, kind of get up out of the fog there. We've gone about 25 miles south and we kind of dropped down into the fog here a little bit. If you can see there to the right, that's the Severe River. And so that old that fog kind of hangs along the river there because that's the like low low place I guess so anyway we're just gonna we just popped over the overpass here and we're gonna get back on the freeway here and we'll head back you can see uh, way in the north there that's the old Mount Nebo up there by the town so Anyway, that's our turnaround, uh, and we're going to head back to the house. Uh, ending mileage 23817. I uh, hope you can see that. 23817. 23817. And this is Dr. Dual Sport out.